February is American Heart Month, and it serves as a very important reminder to watch for warning signs and visit your doctor regularly. Tonight we meet with a survivor who at just 36 years old found herself with a life-threatening condition. I just remember saying, I don't know, I don't want to die. Laura Lane Jordan is your poster child. Anything with the heart is scary. She survived an aortic aneurysm, and now she tells her story for the American Heart Association. It's actually a weak spot in your aorta wall, and which can either bow out or bow in and causes an aneurysm. If ruptured, you can die. Do many people survive one of these? No. Um, the surgeon was just like, you're one of the few patients that I've seen alive with this. Most of the, he said, most of the time I see this on patients as a cadaver during an autopsy. Laureline had symptoms for about a year. Sometimes I had shortness of breath. Um, I would have like a burning in the back, in my back area. And I would have two different blood pressures in each arm. And then doctors were able to figure out what was going on. Um, they said it was some, probably a weak spot that I was born with. and that in order to fix it was open heart surgery and they actually used a little bit of my heart tissue to patch over it. I knew there was something wrong because I, I knew I wasn't imagining things. And so her message is to be persistent. You know your body and when you don't feel well, go in. Her own family history is an important lesson too. Her father is a stroke and heart attack survivor. So her message is a good one. Know your body, know your family, and know when to get checked out. 10 years out, I'm feeling great. She is 10 years post-surgery, feeling good, and feeling good about another family trait, longevity. And you will live to be 100, right? I hope so. That's a yeah, foregone yeah. conclusion. Yeah, okay. foregone conclusion. <laughs> Had a great-great-great-grandfather lived to be 109. Oh, Close. that's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible.